And then, ah! Get out of my house! That is explosion turns, or resurface, recycle. We're all about organics. We get down with the get down. I, I don't know if I'll score another header like that. I might have just wanted to, I don't want to say show off, but uh, bring that to some attention. You are yet to hit your gameplay potential if this is not in your arsenal. What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Hit the LaBelle, ring the LaBelle, hit the doorbell. Today, we're talking best skill move in FIFA 21, hands down. If you have not incorporated this into your gameplay, at least in the current meta, the current build, the current post-patch edition, this is going to shift the way that you innovate, create space, attack your opposition. I promise you, if you like the content or if you want more tutorials, like this video and then comment below. What do you want to see ASAP? Where do you have questions? I try to drop at least one of these a week. Sometimes it's been getting pushed back, but we've been uploading daily. So we're giving out all sorts of different looks and types of content. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. We like to sprinkle the community. But let me talk to you about the directional bridge. Get into the examples right away. I'm not going to hold you up. Did I mention, like the damn video. Show your friends. Tag somebody. If you've not mastered this skill, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's brand new to FIFA 21, and you are missing out on being the best you. I'm telling you, you are yet to hit your game gameplay potential if this is not in your arsenal. In order to execute a directional bridge, also known as the nutmeg bridge dribble, it's a little bit different from the traditional where you'd be double tapping R1. For the directional, you're hitting L1 and R1 and then with the right analog stick, you can choose any direction. That gives you a lot more manual capability. Xbox, LB, RB, and then also using that right analog stick, same situation, you choose a direction, you can do it anywhere on the pitch. Every single player is capable and that gets me to the pros. Universal skill move, you receive an obvious speed boost you're a space separator especially against players that are just chasing back it beats the ai defending it's quicker than your standard bridge and you have more control and i like having control i want to be able to do things as i wish give me a little more of that manual action let's start with the basics let me showcase how this works we're gonna hit a classic one two surge he wants that back so when I get the ball here, I'm going to use the speed boost or the directional bridge, mainly because I'm trying to make this player commit. I want the center back to commit. Uh, it's not necessarily to beat a defender or to create large degrees of separation. I just don't want to lose pace and I want to try to force him either to come towards me or to defend this pass. It's still a game of cat and mouse with your strikers. I'm just giving you some of the insight. There it is. Boom. Surge. And right there, now I'm still playing this game. It's just a matter of attacking that space as we attack that space. Resurface is a ridiculous goal. I have no business scoring that header. That is a fact. I thought that he was going to shoot maybe a volley or knock it down. Nope, not today. So that's wild. I, I don't know if I'll score another header like that. I might have just wanted to. I don't want to say show off, but uh, bring that to some attention. Clip two, and I should mention, you can combine this skill with other skills. Often we see a ball roll into a directional bridge. I don't know how complex this video is going to get. I just want to make sure that you guys are mastering the skill. And then I'll release a second video really covering some of the more complex setups, scenarios, just your viewing pleasure. So we have Surge again, main man. It's going to be relatively similar, except we're actually attacking the space with a little more kicker, as opposed to just playing a game, trying to figure out if we can move that center back or move that defender. We go short. There you go, Surge. Boom. We attack that space. It just put us in a more advantageous position and to do it quickly. Half step in is very important to getting competitive advantages in FIFA. You see this, Surge, layoff. Kunde needs help, finds the pass. An extra one back to Surge. Easy peasy. That's a finish. You count that. But it starts with utilizing the skill just in order to put yourself in a position to score more goals. We've given you one. Let's give you a, a couple helpers as we got the double bridge here we're going to give you the directional bridge where you have Serge and Abri on the ball been the star of the video thus far we're going to ball roll into a directional bridge just forward just to give us a little more separation and then as we're lulling our opposition to a sleep we're going to have the secondary standard bridge this is the first baseline combination play up to this point there it is boom first separation second one defender lost in the sauce you got the layoff way too casual a finish from uh Wang, but a goal is a goal. It's all about isolating that defensive player or putting him in a position where it's going to be a little bit awkward for, for him on the defensive end. A lot of this is also used kind of in those gaps. I made a video talking about the standard bridge and the best area on the pitch. It really is in between the semicircle and then the, the edge of the box. It's kind of their bread and butter zone for their standard bridge. This version, however, 
you have so much more control and it also gives you the opportunity for bounce back to nutmeg it also can be used in the midfield you just have to underlay understand player spacing and separation and get used to flicking that right analog stick because if you push it in the wrong direction or if you're facing left for example and you hit it right that doesn't mean you get a speed boost because you're turned this way you need to be slightly facing if you really want to get a jump remember this video covering the basics i'm assuming you don't know how to use this skill that well at this point I'm, that's all i'm assuming here because i tell you i'll make a second one we got Surge. This is a perfect example. You might be able to hear some construction outside. Welcome to New York City. You've got manual defending. Perfect. You got a lot of space. I want to challenge you. I want to take you on. And often you can use the opener with the directional bridge and then you go into secondary skill moves or turns or resurface, recycle. We're all about organics. We get down with the get down. There's the speed. Surge going to pull this back. Ah! Easy finish easy as you like another showcase another example we now have cristiano ronaldo from jao casello way for it i think we have a waka waka as we attack that space always got the skill move combinations on deck please like this video or comment below if you want an advanced breakdown of this skill i want to have that follow up i need the baseline for you to understand the controls and kind of the early or standard execution before i can start going into a lot more depth i suppose i could have made this video very long and tried to incorporate everything but you need to learn you need a second to really be able to get this into your arsenal make it second nature you don't have to think about it it's instinctive it's reactive and then we can start getting into a lot Lot more of the depth with the freeze frames and the intricacies and the details and particulars i like these examples because it's not crazy i'm already facing the direction that i'm going in it's just a good opener to start getting your hands warm understanding the mythology of the directional bridge there it is right here ah the tax of space and then we go from there it's more so just about letting your opponent know that you're there creating some separation silva that was gross that was gross man what a finish. Final clip of the campaign. We've got Adama. We're going to feed Jao Felix. Just wait for it. Uh, we're going to use the ball roll before going into the skill. And I really like the ball roll before you burst because it allows you to kind of slow down the game. You also have that half second now of being able to read register and really aim where you're going to spurt off, where you're going to shoot. Think Sonic the Hedgehog to a certain degree. You're rolling in that circle and then you're boom, boom, boom. But it's instant. It's a wake up directional bridge or a wake up bridge, which is what separates this version as opposed to the standard bridge majorly. You have a little bit of a delay if you're doing the double tap and you definitely don't have the same kind of a control in terms of where you're going to attack. You don't have the same option. If you're looking to become a gold one plus player or an elite player, this is going to be your go to, especially around the box, getting into the box, outside the box, in the midfield, pushing towards that final attacking third trust here's Jao. wait for it there's the ball roll i've got him on my heels and then we burst and you get a real speed burst with this one i'm gonna run that back no freeze frame second glimpse look how quick this is so we're gonna ball roll and then ah get out of my house that is explosion ball roll the keeper again gorgeous that is just beautiful, and that's why we're sending off the video on this clip. Please let me know down below. Do you want more details, more examples, more of the complex nature? What are the tutorials? If you're enjoying the daily uploads, because we are working so hard on this side, New York City, cold outside. Got some big announcements for next week. Very exciting. I might even have one at the end of this week. There's two upcoming announcements. I'm not just teasing it. I'm being dead serious but i really appreciate all of you guys that have been tuning in you're on the live stream you want to see more gameplay uncut unfiltered twitch.tv slash mike labelle but i'll have a lot more content coming out asap asap